Warning. Nostalgia attack in 3, 2, 1. It's beautiful! This thing here, this clam with a thyroid condition, is the Nintendo 3DS. It was introduced in 2011, and the first time I saw it was at a display at Toys R Us, and I immediately thought, Yep! That's it! We've done it! We have peaked as mankind! All that's left to do now is wait for Jesus to come back! This is the best we can do! This simply can't be improved upon! And I guess everyone else thought the same thing, cause the 3DS did very very well, both in sales and reviews. Not to mention there were so many revisions of the darn thing! There was the original one, which looked like someone dropped a brick in Plasti Dip. Then there was the Big Chungus version, which was the same thing, but bigger and more ergonomic. There was the 2DS, which omitted the 3D bits and got rid of the folding thingy. And, well, let's face it. It's a brick of cheese. <laughs> and then there were the updated versions. The new Nintendo 3DS, the new Nintendo 2DS, and the new Nintendo 3DS XL, which is what I have here today. And now that we have the Nintendo Switch, with the 3DS line being discontinued not too long ago, I've come to discover something about the 3DS that I didn't notice before. The 3DS is the most adorable game console I have ever seen. I know that's a bizarre way to describe it, but let me explain. However, before I do explain, allow me to introduce a point of reference. This is the Nintendo Switch. And now it is time for this class. Before I continue, I just want to say that I am not at all saying that the 3DS is better than the Switch in any way. The Switch is one of, if not my favorite game console of all time, but I absolutely adore the 3DS as well and wanted to give it its spot in the limelight. What I'm about to say is neither a criticism of either of the two consoles. This is nothing more than just a humble comparison, so if I say something you don't agree with, then let's just agree to disagree. This has been a disagreement. Tune in next time to hear Laddie sing. Big Chungus Fortnite Funny. Something I've noticed with modern gaming consoles is that they seem to sell themselves as ADVANCED COMPUTER TECHNOLOGY CAPABLE OF GAMING and not video games anymore. I hope that makes sense. Cause like back in the 90s or early 2000s, commercials would be like Wow dude, check out the hottest most bodacious game console on planet Earth at certain parts of Mars! Homework? I don't have time for that, Mom! I'm too busy playing Shadow the Hedgehog 2 on my Xbox 720! And nowadays it's like, Hello friend, would you perhaps be interested in trying out our newest gaming console? It will blend in perfectly with your inevitably beautiful home decor, and this newest iteration of our hardware features lots of upgrades and improvements not present in our previous consoles such as better graphics with a higher screen resolution, refresh rates, and more teraflops, whatever those are, lots of upgrades to choose from, and all for a very reasonable asking price. We know you'll use our system to play Fortnite and nothing else, but that's okay. As long as you're having fun, you do you. I mean, both are nice, but I feel like consoles from the late 2000s and early 2010s found a nice middle ground between the two. Not crazy enough to get you kicked out of Boy Scouts, but still had a lot of character. The PS Vita, for instance, is a good example of that, but the 3DS is a great example. For starters, let's look at the home menu. A lot of people criticize the home menu on the Switch because it feels very... not Tendo. They complain that it's a little too simplistic, but to be honest, I really like the Switch's home menu. It's super easy to navigate and understand. Just turn it on, pick your game, and boom, you're in. Super simple. Now take a look at the 3DS. It's also rather easy to navigate, but it's also super adorable and charming. You've got themes, super chill music, And even better, each game has its own unique logo and jingle when you select it! That's just downright amazing. Also, the 3DS comes with so much fun stuff to play with right out of the box. You've got a camera app for taking pictures and photos with the not one, not two, but three cameras! That in itself is adorable, cuz, uh, uh, well... Let's just say the 3DS walked so flagship phones could run. It also comes with software to record audio in 10 second increments, as well as listen to music that you put on the included SD card. It's also got loads of effects to play with, too. You could make some real 2006 quality YouTube poops with this thing, let me tell ya. <laughs> it also comes with a Mii Maker. Classic. There's even a Mii Mingle app thingy called Street Pass. 
If you were near someone who also had a 3DS with them, this light would turn green, and that person's me would come visit you and help you out with the included games. Pfft, you think getting asked out by your crush is exciting? Back then, pulling out your 3DS and seeing that light turn green just gave you a feeling you never had before. It was like, YAY FRIENDSHIP! There's also an activity log. It's honestly really nice to see just how much love and time you've poured out onto each game you have. There's a game where you spin in circles like a madman and shoot your relatives with rubber balls. There's the game that uses the included AR cards that you played once and never again. Don't you lie to me! There's the Nintendo Zone. I'm actually not entirely sure what this is. I never used it. And it's discontinued now, so there you go. I bet it too was adorable. Even the health and safety warning app is pleasant. The music in it is so soothing. I once used it to help me take a nap, and it absolutely did the trick. The Nintendo Switch? It has, uh... Um... It's got a video of Bowser traumatizing his son. That's something. And the wonderfulness continues in the settings. Once again, the Switch's settings are pretty simplistic, at least in comparison to an Xbox or PlayStation. But I like that, to be honest. It tells you what you need to know, and bada boom, bada bing, you're good to go. The 3DS's settings are quite simple too, but it has this extra adorable charm to it. A great example of that are the internet settings. For starters, you've got this cute little block guy who helps you get connected to the internet. That's wonderful for those who might not know how to do that right out of the box, such as really little kids, or your mom who keeps calling this a Game Boy. And much like everything else on the 3DS, it's got incredibly pleasant music that plays while you're getting all set up. Isn't that nice? It's certainly much better than And while we're on the topic of settings, it's time to address the elephant in the room. And I'm not talking about the one who sits on my couch, binge watches Frasier, and doesn't even pay rent. The main selling point of the 3DS is undoubtedly the fact that you can play games in 3D! And the 3DS has 3D built in with the slider, meaning you can play most of your favorite games in 3D. Which was definitely only once and never again, because it made you really dizzy after a while. And then the only time you ever used it after that was to show your friends that calibration thing in the settings. <laughs> it's so gimmicky, I love it. And while we're at it, can we discuss how adorably tiny the 3DS is, at least compared to the Switch? I don't know why, but the way it starts out small and then folds into something bigger is so appealing to me. I love tech like that. Sliding phones, the Game Boy Advance SP, even smartphones are doing that now. With not much success, albeit, but still, what's not to love? And the thing is with the Switch, it most certainly is portable, but it's just not portable enough! I know everyone's definition of portable is different, but I like having the ability to just put my 3DS in my pocket, pull it out whenever I please, and not have to worry about leaving it someplace. Like a bus, or a toilet, or a parade, or on the sign of a McDonald's in Anchorage, Alaska. I don't know, it could happen. And despite its small size, the 3DS is surprisingly ergonomic. It fits quite nicely in my BIG MEATY CLAWS! Sorry PS Vita, you've uh... You've been dethroned, my friend. Back to the mail room with you. And now it's time for the main attraction. The games. The 3DS has pretty puny specs on paper, but even so, developers have squeezed every last ounce of muscle from this thing to make some truly amazing games. That alone makes this thing worth picking up to this day. They've even ported games from home consoles to this thing! There's a port of Luigi's Mansion on the 3DS, and that was originally on the GameCube. And other games like Xenoblade Chronicles 3D and Kirby's Extra Epic Yarn, these are ports of games for the Wii! How cool is that? But I'm not done yet! There's plenty of old classics to go around, and unlike the Switch, you actually own them! No subscription here! But going back to the size thing, there is another advantage the 3DS has. Here is Donkey Kong Country on the Switch. It looks and works really well, no complaints here. 
However, retro games honestly feel much more at home here. There's not an inch of input lag to be found, and the graphics look much cleaner and sharper, probably because of the 3DS's smaller screen and resolution, with these older games being made with smaller resolutions in mind anyway. And at the moment, the 3DS has even more retro systems than the Switch does. Hi, that's incredible! Good Go on you, mate! But even shopping for games is insanely appealing on the 3DS. Now, I actually really like the Switch's eShop. It's simple, tells you what you need to know, easy to navigate, has good genres, and still has a charm to it. Now, look at this. It's beautiful! The 3DS's eShop is also pretty simple. It tells you what you need to know, it's easy to navigate, has a crap ton of genres, has a rating system, and is overall nice to use, but it just has a whole different aesthetic to it. It's just so whimsical and fun. In comparison, the Switch eShop is like the toy section of Walmart, whereas the 3DS eShop is like a dedicated toy store. There's nothing wrong with the toy section of Walmart, it does its job, but this just... I... I, I, I don't know, it hits different. Even buying games is a treat to the senses. On the Switch, you just hit the purchase button, put in your payment method, and boom, you're done. And your game will start downloading on the home screen with this nice progress bar. That's great! The 3DS lets you pick your game, put in a payment method, and then you have the option to either download it on the spot with these cute... uh... data fruits? Being dropped into your game until it's full, or you can have the game download whenever you put the console into sleep mode. That's a brilliant idea! And then when it's finished, you'll be greeted with your new game wrapped in a present for you to open. Urgh, I love it, it's so fun! And the last thing I'd like to discuss is the storage. The 3DS comes with a 2 or 4 gigabyte SD card. That's adorably pathetic, but there's more to it than that. This is Super Mario 3D Land, a fully 3D Mario game that's super fun to play, was very successful, and really showed off what the 3DS was capable of. That being said, how big do you think this game is? Maybe a gigabyte? A gigabyte and a half? Maybe two gigabytes? 289 megabytes. Wow. That's pretty stinkin' small for a AAA game. So, yeah, 2 gigs is tiny, but you can honestly fit a pretty decent amount of games on that little amount of space. And since it's an SD card, being as incredibly ubiquitous as they are, heck, you could probably buy one in a sewer. Upgrading the storage on this thing is a piece of cake. My 3DS, for example, has a 32 gigabyte card in it, which cost me around $7. And with that amount of space, I could fit roughly 111 copies of Mario 3D Land on it. Or a Call of Duty Modern Warfare update. And best of all, 3DS games are pretty darn cheap. Uh, digital ones anyway. Super Mario 3D Land, for instance, it's only $20! That's a third of the cost of a AAA game on the Switch! And that works out perfectly if you want a fun game to play that doesn't break the bank, or if you're in a hurry and you want a game that'll download really quickly. See? what I tell you? You agree with me now? The 3DS was so packed to the brim with charm, wonder, and amazement that it truly deserves the title of most adorable game console of all time. This is the lucky charms of video games in a world filled with bran flakes, toasted wheats, peanut butter cocoa spheres. But the main question is, would I recommend purchasing this 10 years later? Yeah, absolutely! It's not like the PS Vita, where its main selling point these days is the ability to mod it. The 3DS was so ambitious, had loads of amazing games on it, had a lot of features that we take for granted nowadays, and even 10 years later, it's still an incredible game console, no hyperbole.